I'm Jeff Thielman, and I'm honored to be running for re-election to the Arlington School Committee. I serve on the committee because I want to help young people in our town receive a great education. I've worked with young people for most of my life, and I can tell you that Arlington has great kids and great schools. The high school is at the top of the state rankings, and it has a great athletic program, outstanding performing arts, and other quality extracurricular programming. Our high-performing middle school is undergoing some exciting changes. Our teachers are building a curriculum for sixth graders at the new Gibbs that will focus on kids' social, emotional, and academic needs. The seventh and eighth grade teachers are enthusiastically working on plans to take advantage of the space that will be available at the Addison next fall, and they are working on ways to strengthen the curriculum. Our seven elementary schools are wonderful communities where principals and teachers work very hard to provide safe, nurturing places for kids to learn. My wife and I have three children in the Arlington Public Schools, and we are very happy with the education they are receiving. I am running for another term on the school committee for three main reasons. To make sure we build a fantastic new high school with both state and local funding, to advocate for enough operating funds for our schools, and to help the committee perform its oversight role in a professional manner. I chair the high school building committee, which is overseeing the rebuild of AHS in partnership with the Massachusetts School Building Authority. My role is to ensure that there is broad community participation in the planning of the new school which will be the largest capital project in town history. We have launched a series of community forums to get public input and will continue these dialogues throughout the project. We want to maximize state funding. We want to build a facility that is large enough to accommodate rising enrollment. I want to be sure the school allows students to gather and learn in beautiful spaces and that it has high quality science labs, classrooms, art rooms, and performing arts and athletic facilities that meet the diverse needs of our kids. My second reason for seeking re-election is that it will soon be eight years since our last operating override. I will continue to lobby the state to implement the recommendations of the 2015 Budget Review Commission, which concluded that the Commonwealth is underfunding public school districts by $1 billion. But state aid will not be enough. By 2019, it will be necessary to have a conversation with the voters of Arlington about a modest increase in property taxes to fund school and town needs. Arlington spends less per pupil than the statewide average, and we deliver results that are in the top tier of all districts in the state. I want to work with our district's leadership to create a multi-year plan that tells everyone in town what it will cost to run our schools. Then, I want to collaborate with my colleagues on the school committee and the board of selectmen to propose a fair property tax rate that protects seniors, funds town services, and ensures that we can provide quality education to our kids. Finally, we have had a well-functioning school committee for many years, and I want to keep it that way. A governing board's role is to set policy, approve the budget, and advocate for kids and teachers. I have served on the school committee for 15 years, and I have more than two decades of experience in education management. During this past term, I served on the school enrollment task force, which secured support from the town to add classrooms to the Hardy and Thompson schools and to create a separate sixth grade school at Gibbs. I know how to work with local and state officials to get things done for children and families in Arlington. I've been the head of a school, and I currently serve as the CEO of a multi-state human services organization that serves immigrants and refugees. My professional and community experience makes me uniquely qualified to work with my colleagues on the school committee to advocate for kids and to ensure that the board appropriately governs our public schools. I am very excited about Arlington's future, and I look forward to the opportunity to continue to serve the town. I respectfully ask for one of your two votes on April 7th. Thank you.